So this week I thought I'd talk about playing rhythm guitar, uh, because 90% of the time that's exactly what I'm doing when I'm playing a gig. Um, now when I'm playing the electric guitar I tend to need a bit more precision than when I'm playing the acoustic guitar. And I tend to use one of two techniques most of the time. So there's, the first one is when I need to do palm muting, then I'll just hold my hand like I've got a pick. Uh, and I use my index finger nail instead of a pick and, and play just like that. The other technique is the one that I really want to talk about though, and it's pretty adaptable. Um, all I'm doing is I'm using my fingers to, to play the strings, so. So I can do those kinds of Hendrixy things, or <laughs> funk kinds of stuff. The uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan. <laughs> that kind of stuff. So let's zoom in, and uh, I can show you in more detail. Okay, so the movement then really comes from the knuckles rather than from the wrist. And you're playing every note with the fingers, your thumb's really not involved in playing any, any of the notes at all, a bit like this. And as you can see, I'm actually hitting the strings with my middle finger here. It doesn't really matter, I could use my index finger, my middle, or sometimes my ring finger. Uh, and actually when I'm playing a gig, what I'll do is if I notice one of my nails is getting worn, I'll switch to using another, another finger. So, so you really can use any, any three of them. And the thing to do when you're first trying to get the feel is to see if you can just get some triplets going. Just see if you can emphasize that first note in the group of three. And once you've got that flowing, just try again, but this time use a chord on the first note of the group of three. So your left hand is going to be dampening the strings, but one, one time in three, just see if you can drop onto um, any chord, so a power chord or something. to get the two hands timing. Once you get that working, the thing to do is to start working on the accuracy. Now, by accuracy, what, what we've got to do is we've got to start controlling the strings and targeting the strings that you're playing as well. Now, with my, um, my right hand, this is where the thumb comes into play. So I'd like to keep my thumb, as the, the thumb's really not moving when I'm playing. So I'd like to just rest it on the strings. And that, if you like, is dampening anything below uh, the, the strings that I'm playing. So my thumb is controlling the lower strings. And my left hand is controlling the upper strings. So you should be able to just play one note. And what I'm doing there is I'm actually fretting a note with my index finger and my other fingers are just wrapped around the other strings stopping them from vibrating. And you can do this with any finger. Again here you can see I've got control of the, the strings above my third finger by just lying, lying the fingers flat. And the strings below I'm controlling with my thumb, as I say. And that's a good way of, of uh, experimenting with this actually, is just see if you can get one note to ring out and control the other strings and see if you can just play a little pattern like that. And once you've got that going, You've pretty much got all the skills you need to, to start to control the, uh, the strumming as I did earlier on. So that's it. It's kind of a fun technique, so experiment with it and see how you get them, and we'll chat next time. Goodbye.